For all my regular subscribers, before we begin, this review might seem a little odd, but stick with me. Every single day, I ride the train for about two hours, and the service is quite frankly shocking. Now, I know some of you will probably have much worse train journeys than me, but Wales is known for its poor train service. What you're about to see is a regular weekday service running from the valleys through to Cardiff Central at around 7.30 in the morning. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because the franchise for the Welsh Rail Network is up for grabs in 2018, which means Arriva Trains Wales can be made gone once and for all. And if you'd like to see Arriva Trains Wales gone, you can help by signing a petition, which I'll leave in the links in the description below. Now, it might help, it might not, but we won't know until you try. Thanks for taking the time to listen. And if you want to join me on this horrendous journey, then please keep watching. And if not, Stu's Reviews will return to its regular technology gadgets and gizmos next episode. Hello and welcome back to Stu's Reviews. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Arriva Trains Wales. They're late already. So already one stop in and you can see the carriage is extremely full. There's another 40 minutes left. I'm here at Abercunnan now, which is only two stops away from where I started. And people are pouring onto the train, as you can see. In fact, I'm going to have to move further away. Now, this is becoming quite embarrassing. I think somebody is now inside me. So this is going to get very cosy indeed. Extremely cosy, sir. Every day. There we are. Well, interestingly, as more people are getting on at Ponty Pre. Uh, this passenger here pointed out there are some luxury seats still available just up here. So if you can climb high enough, there's some fantastic lying down seats. You can lie down, recline and get fed grapes by the train conductor. Oh, there's some people coming, watch out. Now let's talk about some facts about Arriva Trains Wales to pass the time. As of 2013, 73% of their trains were classed as unacceptable conditions. And the average age of the carriage is 27 years old, which means it's the oldest in the UK. They have the oldest rolling stock in the UK, which, to be honest, is a bit of a farcical. But we are now at uh, Triforest, I think. There are a lot of people outside, and I think people are being turned away. It came to my attention that you weren't seeing the true busyness of this train. So I switched places with Ash, and now you can see all of the people down there packed in this like sardines in a tin. Okay. As the journey continues, I begin to feel like a victim, very much like I've either been robbed or molested. Where are we? Oh. Tapswell. We're now at Tapswell and they are indeed refusing entry to people. So people who need to get to work or school can no longer get their free day off provided by Arriva Trains Wales. I think someone might be... Has someone actually fainted? Someone has actually just fainted and that is not a lie. So the conditions are in fact that poor that somebody has actually fainted. As you just heard by the train conductor then, I wasn't making it up at all. Someone has indeed taken ill and now this train has stopped waiting for an ambulance. One would think if they put one more carriage on, that woman wouldn't have been taken ill and this train wouldn't be delayed by over 20 minutes. As you can see, the train is getting busier and busier. Thankfully, we're only a couple of stops away from the end. Now, I would say on approximate, there's about 30, maybe 40 people waiting outside this train who are unable to get on this train. Um, I wouldn't even begin to approximate how many people are actually on this train. Far too many. Thankfully, I'm coming to the end of my journey now. Whether there's a train station at the end or a gulag, I'm not sure. But one thing I am sure of is that this journey has been absolutely horrendous. 
I would encourage you all to leave a comment below detailing your worst experiences with Arriva Trains Wales. And I'll see you back for another episode soon.